Hi there and welcome to our next lesson in our B4 topic, It's All Green, and today we're going to be looking at minerals in plants. We're going to be looking at four specific minerals and looking at their impact on the plant and what happens if there is a deficiency. So here are our objectives. So let's have a look at our objectives for this lesson. So by the end of this lesson you should know and understand the effects of different minerals on plants and also what happens when there is a shortage of those minerals. So what minerals are actually needed for, for healthy growth in plants? Now the main minerals that we're going to talk about today are nitrogen which come in the form of nitrates, phosphorus which comes in the form of phosphates, potassium which comes in potassium ions and magnesium as magnesium ions. Now the way plants get these minerals is through the water which is taken in via osmosis. Now these are found as salt so it might be that you have magnesium nitrate or potassium phosphate uh, in the water and then they are taken in by, by the plant at the roots. Now they use all the different uh, mineral elements for different things so for nitrogen it's used in making leaves and that's because nitrogen reacts with the glucose to make amino acids which can then be formed into proteins. The phosphorus is used for making the roots and that's in the DNA and the cell membrane which requires the phosphorus. Now potassium is used in respiration and photosynthesis and that provides the enzymes with the ability to carry out the reactions and then the last one magnesium is definitely needed for photosynthesis as magnesium is the central metal in the production of chlorophyll or actually in the chlorophyll molecule. So where do these minerals actually come from? Now one of the main areas is rocks now minerals within the rocks can be dissolved by the slightly acidic rainwater so that means that they dissolve into the water and then can be absorbed by the roots there's also natural fertilizers such as animal feces and the decay of dead plants and animals that return those minerals to the to the soil and then there's artificial fertilizers that you can uh, by and which we have looked at making in previous topics uh, and these are a ready-made mixture and they can be added to the, the plants. As we've already discussed nitrogen is used for making leaves. Now we can look at the effect of nitrogen deficiency in the plant. Now because we've got the making leaves as the use of nitrogen you can see at the bottom here these leaves aren't fully developed and this is because they become yellow or dead. We've also got at the bottom a weak stem and that's all because we've got no plant growth and we've got no proteins being, being made using that nitrogen. Now with phosphorus deficiency we can see that we've got purple leaves. Now the purple leaves are a secondary result of not having the proper roots so because phosphorus is needed to make those root hair cells these small roots that are because of this deficiency in phosphorus mean that we're not getting the other minerals up to the, the leaves and hence we get purple leaves and we also get a small roots. Now potassium which is used for making flowers and fruits mean that we get poor flowers and poor fruit growth. So at the top of the plant there may be a lack of fruit, there may be a lack of flowers. However, a secondary effect could be the yellow leaves which have dead spots. So you can see in here you've got areas where the leaf is uh, no longer living. So we've got yellow leaves with dead spots and a lack of fruits and flowers. Now magnesium makes chlorophyll. So without the chlorophyll there's no green in the plants. So therefore we've got the upper leaves which are normal. However 
the under part of the leaf may go yellow. Now the lower leaves can also go to a pale green or yellow colour and that's purely because of a lack of chlorophyll in the leaf. OK, so that concludes our lesson today on minerals and plants and to summarise what we've looked at today we have looked at the four minerals that are needed for, for healthy plant growth the first being nitrogen which is needed for uh, proteins uh, the second being phosphorus which is needed for the DNA in roots we then looked at potassium which is needed for healthy fruit growth and then we looked at magnesium which is need, needed for chlorophyll to make sure we have our nice green leaves. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.